The Keystone Award recognizes those individuals who have shown exemplary leadership through their volunteerism and generosity for multiple Indiana University campaigns or fundraising initiatives. Ken Beckley knew where he was headed early on. Ever since I was a child, uh, as far back as I can remember, I wanted to be in broadcasting. And so, the small town kid from southwestern Indiana headed to IU where he found his passion, broadcast news. I was fascinated that you could go out and you could actually cover news, gather information, assimilate that information into stories to, uh, to put on the air, accompanied by by video on newscasts, and that's what I wanted to do. It was that enthusiasm that carried Ken from Indiana University through the ranks of Channel 6 in Indianapolis, where in 1969, he became one of the anchors on the station's first two-man broadcast team. The News with Howard Caldwell, Ken Beckley, Bob McLean, Craig Roberts, and the WRTV News staff. But, as fate would have it, his alma mater came calling. The still nascent IUPUI campus reached out to Ken. How would he like to become the director of university relations? I've always loved IU ever since I graduated from it and got involved as a volunteer. And so the opportunity to work for my university, try to help advance it, was just enormously appealing. Ken worked tirelessly to promote the new school to potential students across the state helping to build the foundation for what IUPUI is today. Hi, I'm Ken Beckley at one of the H.H. Gregg Superstores. We are having a sale that is the greatest in the history of this company. But Ken's career and life would take another unexpected turn when he was approached by appliance retailer H.H. Gregg to become its vice president of advertising and public relations. Not bad, Beckley. Thanks. You'd look good doing these spots from a locker room in a towel. Ken spent 18 years with H.H. Gregg, lending the company his light and easy charm. All the while, Ken continued to support Indiana University, including volunteering for the Alumni Association. With the passing of Association President Jerry Tardy in 2001, Ken's name began to be floated as a successor. And I'd say, I don't need to be a candidate to replace anybody. I'm not going back to work. Finally, my wife said, Ken, this is meant to be, you're to do this with your life. And she said, I'll be your happy partner all the way. And we had a great five years. Hi, I'm Ken Beckley, president of the IU Alumni Association. Ken made a lasting impact at the Alumni Association. Notably, he established the Jerry F. Tardy Operating Endowment, helping to raise $9 million for the effort, putting the Alumni Association on sure financial footing. I jokingly say a lot of times that uh, Indiana University uh, Alumni Association used to be a noun to me. It was the name of something. But once I became involved with Ken, it turned into a verb, because whenever the IUAA term came up, it was always something to do. And I think most of the people under uh, Ken's leadership were glad to do it. Today, there is perhaps no better symbol of Ken's commitment to Indiana University than the Ken and Audrey Beckley Studio in Franklin Hall. This state-of-the-art facility gives IU students the opportunity to hone their skills for careers in the broadcast fields, much like Ken was able to do all those years ago. I can't count the number of students who have gone through there who have now gone on to careers all around the country in broadcast journalism, sports, all those areas. And I know they benefited very strongly from access to that kind of technology for their training period. Through it all, standing right alongside Ken was his wife, Audrey. Sadly, Audrey passed away in August of 2020. She was a wonderful partner beyond philanthropy, but she was a wonderful partner in, in service to IU. We had this little philosophy among ourselves, you work half the room, I'll work half the room. Because a lot of times, Lon and I do a lot of work and nobody says thank you to them. It just happens. And we wanted to make sure they felt appreciated. And uh, hopefully they, the people who met Audrey over the years will have um, a really good feeling about the, the good person she was. And uh, I think that's a very important part of her legacy. I give her a huge amount of credit for this honor that, uh, that I'm receiving.